Hello guys, my hello back again with another new video and today I have such a obvious thing. So this tool helps you to create diagrams for uh, the architecture of Google Cloud, like architecturing app or projects in Google Cloud. Okay. AWS doesn't have it, Azure Cloud doesn't have it, IBM doesn't have it, so Google have its own. So it's kind of good, kind of bad as well, because if you are in multi-cloud situation and if you want to create all of the clouds and like uh, design all of that together, so this is not the tool for you, obviously. Uh, but if you are not in multi-cloud situation and you like using Google Cloud and you know the products, so you can use it obviously for that reason. Okay. But there are other tools there who actually does the same thing, like uh, take uh, like take the instances of Google Clouds and AWS and put them into a diagramming tool. But uh, we are not talking about those today because we this is more focused towards Google Cloud, obviously, because this is from Google Cloud. So let's just have a look over it. At least now you will know how many products Google Cloud have. Okay, so yeah, it may, uh, get confusing sometimes like tons of products that they have in their dashboard and it's really hard to learn them all but still now you can have an overview right so let's get started and let's see what we have right <music> so here is the tool i will obviously be giving you the uh, link of this tool actually if i don't go to any subdomain will it open yeah it will open the landing page of it okay we have too many things over here so we have compute instances that is bare metal shared vms cloud run VMware as service, GKE, then we have storage, Firestore, okay, Firestore as well, but Firestore comes under storage, why it is here, I don't know, so if I like ex want to explain you all of the things, I can, but that would not be a <laughs> great discussion for this video, so we have that over here, like all of the things that they provide, the heat map of that, then we have a list view of that, yet again, like same thing, but in list view okay but in list view we have more things because not just those things that they have i think right they have more than this so here are just bare minimum things but here are all of the things app engine bare minimum app engine is managed app platform okay bare metal is bare metal obviously bare metal means bare server where you have to manage everything cloud function is like uh cloud workers of cloud flow or cloud function you know what cloud function is then cloud run compute engine gk primitive vm primitive vms okay i don't know short-lived compute instances okay shielded vms virtual machines sultan and nose vmware okay gk is is kubernetes managed kubernetes then there is management tools application gaming cloud game servers okay we have that also we have tons of other things that i will not explain over here because that doesn't make sense so here is the actual uh, sheet that we have over here so if you can if you click on get started you will be getting started right no not get started with cloud but developer cheat sheet this is the developer cheat sheet that okay so here is the architecture let's uh, create one so what you can do over here i don't know where is that yeah so here you have the compute instances as you can see all of them are over here then you have the storage solutions animations are great local ssd cloud storage so if i have a cloud storage then i connect it to a compute instance suppose not bare metal obviously uh, vm 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 okay normal compute instance then if i connect both of them what is the simplest way to connect both of them no this can't be
I can rotate it but can't connect it. What the? <laughs> I don't know why they have made such foolish things. Whatever. You can do something like that. You should. You should obviously get inspired from diagramming tool like uh what uh that is, uh, whimsical. Whimsical have great diagramming platform to be honest. So we have it here, and we can add more things from it. Suppose if I wanna add a database, if I have a storage and a compute engine, I should have created my own database. But still, it's giving us a database that is already managed, so I we don't have to like take care of it. We have cloud SQL, cloud SQL inside. So cloud SQL. Suppose it will be obviously connected to this one, like this. So yeah. In this way, you can create an architecture for Google Cloud only. Now, in feedbacks, you should uh, give it a lot of feedback <laughs> because it needs work. Built with Exalic Draw. Wait, what is Exalic Draw? I didn't know about it. Exalic Draw. Wait, let's see it. Okay, this is Exalic Draw. The same thing. They just have built upon it. Okay. This is exactly draw a free platform to get like create diagrams. I think so. And this is same that we can see over here, like same platform, right? That I don't want it right now. And one great thing that they are providing over here is a grid system. That is that is a great thing because obviously we need a grid whenever we are using it so yeah you get my point what it is for what we can use it and all right so let me know if you're gonna use it or not i don't use google cloud it 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 will not be helpful for me at all okay so i will not use it because i don't use google cloud obviously only for that reason i will not use it but if you use google cloud you may you may can okay so let me know if you like it or not if you like this platform or not and if it's helpful for you or not or the other platforms that are not proprietary to google if they are better than this they are providing something greater than this please let me know about that as well and if you know about some of the great tools like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below as well so i can feature them in my future video and if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel so bye for now Thank you.